Welcome back my fellow radiation nerds. Today we will explore the radioactivity and the nonsense of some more quantum science scalar energy quackery items sold on Amazon. If you enjoy this content, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming uploads. Thanks and now back to the video. In the past, I explored the radioactivity of two quantum energy pendants, and in both cases they have turned out to be radioactive due to the foreign content. Since then, most of the listings have been taken down, but occasionally they do pop up every now and then on websites such as Amazon. Recently, I was browsing through the internet and I found some quantum energy stickers, which I haven't really explored before, so I decided to order them and see if they will be radioactive. The first sticker was marked as anti-radiation sticker that will protect the user from harmful 5G radiation. Right. To definitely not photoshopped stock photos in the listing, recommend placing the sticker on all electrical devices such as phones, tablets, laptops and TVs. Despite the stickers being marketed as anti-radiation, I measured a pretty decent radioactivity coming off of them. When measured from the front, I got a result of 250 cans per minute and 700 cans per minute when measured from the back of the sticker at 1cm distance with my Ludlum Model 3 with a 44-9 Pro. I'm guessing that the silicon layer blocks some of the alpha and beta radiation, resulting in lower activity when measured from the front of the sticker. I was curious about how the sticker was constructed and which part in particular made it radioactive, so I used my trusty Swiss knife to peel its layers one by one and conduct a little autopsy of it. The sticker is made of three parts, silicon top, shiny middle part and a sticky brown layer at the bottom. After measuring each part separately, I found that the brown bottom layer was the radioactive one. The second sticker was marketed as advanced technology, scalar energy, energy savior, made in Japan, anti-radiation protection, yada yada yada. And surprise surprise, when measured with my little Model 3 with a 44-9 Pro, I got a reading of over 2000 counts per minute at 1cm distance. However, this time I decided not to dissect the sticker as it seems to be made out of a single piece. The two pendants I explored before do contain radioactive forum 232 and I was curious if that would also be the case with these stickers. To find out, I conducted a gamma spectroscopy with my racist gamma spectrometer which revealed that both stickers contained radioactive forum 232 and its decay products. Foriumor, monazite, is pretty common in China. In fact, it is much more common there than uranium, which is why China is currently investing heavily into forium breeder reactors. I'm assuming that forium is a waste product of monazite processing, as monazite is rich in several other rare earth elements, but I have absolutely no idea why it's being added to those stickers. I guess it at least makes a pretty cool check source for all of us nuclear nerds. While those stickers are a pretty cool and relatively safe source to handle, their marketing is very misleading and they definitely should not be sold on Amazon or similar websites under the current description. Just remember that some people still believe in tin foil hats. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming content. Also feel free to check out my coffee page where you can donate a nice cup of radioactive coffee and support my work financially. And remember, stay active!